I have this bag, it's for lacrosse stuff. It's where I keep my pads and my shoes and my helmets. This is the junk in my trunk. I've got not one, not two, but three pallets of iced tea. Uh, I got a football, because you know, every high school boy's gotta carry around a football everywhere they go. I've got a milk carton full of baseballs, pile balls, tennis balls, lacrosse balls, and some sunflower seeds, you know, all the balls you need. And then I have this lacrosse stick that's broken. This one that's broken. You know, got this, any Midwesterner needs to carry around one of these doohickeys. I don't know what they're called, but you know, they scrape the ice off, you got a little brush in there, and make it nice and clean. This one that's broken. This one that's broken. Uh, I got two pairs of goggles. I don't think either of them work, but uh, they've been in my trunk for a little bit. They're very sentimental to me. I've got a baseball bag, and I've got any baseball bat you could ever need, either. A 50 cal BB core, use that. You need a, you know, a wood fun book, use that. You need this bat that has never been legal in any play of baseball, because it's a uh, drop 17 or something stupid. I got that. This one that's broken. A trunk organizer that uh, I've never opened. But, I mean, I think it could be pretty helpful. So I got a lot of junk in here that I need organizing. Got jumper cables, you know. If you ever need a jump, hit my line. I actually don't, I want to go home. I've got my unicorn pinata very special to me. And uh, this one that's not broken, this is my six. And then this for ice. Yep, well, that's the junk in my trunk. Oh God. Um, I'm Henry Vapel, and I need the money to put in savings. I'm Matthew Ackridge. Uh, I need the money because I need gas for my car, and gas is super expensive. Hi, I'm Cameron King, and uh, I need the money because I like food. Uh, hello, I'm Tate, and I would like the money because I want to buy wings. <laughs> uh, I'll go with you. And I want the money because I need Pokemon cards. <laughs> Oh, then expand on why you need some Pokemon cards. Well, that was just kind of the first thing I thought of. Because I couldn't think of like a good, good reason why I need the money. Vote him out. Yeah, that, that <laughs> kind of doesn't seem yeah. like it's necessary. It's all right, all right, raise your hand if you want to vote out Alden first. <laughs> hey, Alden. Are, are you mad that you got out? Uh, it was kind of expected. I mean, they're already planning on voting out before we even started filming. Oh. So I, I wasn't really expecting to get past the first round, really. All right, um, if you're stuck on a desert island, what would be three things you would take? To be done from TikTok, some water, like a Costco, a Costco thing of like beef jerky or trail mix. You're not taking the cube? Well, that's a given. That just kind of comes. <laughs> All right, I would probably have to bring my phone so I could play Clash of Clans. <laughs> uh, I'd also really like to bring a giant sombrero so I wouldn't get sunburned. And also, uh, probably some kind of canoe so I could like get out of the island if I wanted to. All right, I, okay, I'll bring one of those like life straws that you can like suck any water from and uh, like a fire starter kid, like some big gun to shoot animals. Henry, what, what would your three things be? Uh, I would probably bring food, water, and then a boat. <laughs> okay, Just so cool. I can see what a, what a, what a loser. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the worst three uh, items that you guys Probably me. Uh, Henry. Is Henry going himself <laughs> out, I guess? Yeah. All right, well, all in favor of putting Henry out next, raise your hand. <laughs> hey, <laughs> since Henry, he offered. He pretty much offered himself. All right, well. uh, are you angry that you're out? Uh, kind of, because I kind of had the most logical answers. Like one of them brought a girl Probably both gonna die of starvation in a week. We're, we're drawing a picture of a duck. Big facts. To decide who um, Big quack. stays in. So let's have like a, a minute timer. 
Keep it in mind. Oh, this is my duck. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is my duck. Go for this duck. The worst one's Matthew's because it doesn't have any landscaping. Oh! Say the worst yeah, one's Tate. All near the side of the boat. That's the best duck. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tate lost. Uh, are you angry that you got out? Very. I'm actually very disappointed. I thought my duck was good, but apparently it wasn't very liked by the audience. Now we had the final two contestants go through a splitter steal. In a splitter steal, if both of the contestants choose split, they split the winnings. If both of the contestants choose steal, they both get nothing. And if one of them chooses split and the other chooses steal, the one that chooses steal steals all the money. Right now, Choose what you're gonna go with, Matthew. And, uh, and then, and then once you have it chosen, you're gonna show it to the camera. Yeah. Matthew, what do you think Cameron chose? Split. You think? Do you believe that your partner also chose split? Yeah, I think so. Which means you would each get twenty dollars. Okay. When I release, when I release this barrier, you're gonna see. Wait, your opponent three, two, one. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. Cameron. I see how it is. I'm sorry, Cameron. I see how it is. I'm sorry, Take Cameron. Take advantage of my kindness, sorry. I see how I'm it is. I'm sorry. Hey. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you angry with your partner's decision here? Yes. I got... I felt betrayed. I feel, I feel betrayed. I... I chose split thinking, you know what, we feel like we got some good chemistry. I know he's going to choose split. We're going to walk out $20. We're both going to be happy. That, that's how I thought I was going to go. And then took away the boxes and I saw this over there. And I, that was it. Hello everybody! How's everyone doing tonight? I'm Arjo Roy. For those of you who don't know, this is The North Report. Welcome to The Monologue, where we catch up on every world event that there is. We're off air! <clears throat> Ugh. Well, I know that, but I've been in the studio since 4.39am and I'm running on a mix of coffee, Adderall, and Netflix. Would someone get me a ginger ale? <coughs> Ugh, this tastes like motor oil! Anyway, what's on the agenda? Khloe Kardashian's new face, Montero and the Catholic Church, Joe Biden falling down the stairs to the airplane. All these things have already been done. Look, our producers have been badgering us about getting a good show, and if you don't deliver, then you're fired. Now stay calm and don't freak out. Tell that to the vein popping out of your forehead. We could do something on the student council elections. No one looks at those anymore. Besides, the last time we did anything on an election, we got that strongly worded email from that woman in Texas. Whatever happened to her? Restraining order. Who knew a 60-year-old woman with card candies in her bag could be so vicious? I still have a cough drop lodged in my ear. Well, we need something. We were gonna do that piece on butcher knives, but that was cut short because of something with Billy. Speaking of, send his family our condolences. May he rest in pieces. Maybe you should stop sending people into dangerous situations. Remember what happened to Lewis after he fell off of the top of Mount Rushmore? He was fine. Nothing was broken. Well, nothing was connected either. Look, it's not my fault these people follow me blindly, okay? If anything, it's just poor life skills. I mean, how was I supposed to know that kicking rocks over the edge is dangerous? Think of it as a learning experience. Roger. What do you mean we've been live this whole time?
Caroline Clark, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Abrams. My name's Avi Silverberg, and I'm a junior. Hello, I'm Natalie Christensen. My name's Leah Helfer, I'm a sophomore. Mm, I got this sweatshirt online. It's my favorite artist. And then um, it's her merch. And then my pants are Urban Outfitters. And then my shoes are Vans, and they're orange. Uh, I'm wearing these pants from the North Face that I bought at Urban Outfitters on sale. The shoes, I'm wearing Adidas. Uh, I'm wearing a vintage Coca-Cola t-shirt and this vintage Gators windbreaker that I stole from my dad. My favorite places to shop at recently have been thrift stores. I like City Thrift. It's a little expensive recently, but I do like City Thrift and I like Blessings Abound Thrift. I didn't thrift as much until recently, like in this past um, year, um, like in fall of last year. But like, I find that I like the pieces that I thrift like more and I wear them more often. I normally shop either online on a thrift stores or in person at thrift stores or like urban or maybe like some fast fashion, maybe if I need like other basic. Also a lot of small, local uh, stores that make one of a kind stuff. Probably like Target because they have large diversity and like it's not super expensive. Straight up five out of 10. I've not been emotionally damaged by Target. Sometimes I will buy expensive clothes from the trendy places like Urban Outfitters and PacSun on very rare occasions, but mostly thrift stores because fast fashion is bad. I really like Savers or, um, God, there's no place. It's this uh, like thrift store down in um, Westport. Uh, I wear a lot of black jeans. You can find those basically like, anywhere. And it's like a, like basics are pretty easy to find, like just anywhere, like any like regular clothing stores. It's really about like, like more like statements that you can like add to outfits, like trench coat, five inch tall boots. I have been inspired by like, um, you know, goths and stuff, pretty obviously. Um, I don't like to like, call myself a goth because I think it's like kind of posery, but like whatever. I take some inspiration from that. My inspiration is Grimes and um, Aliens. I just buy whatever's cheapest and then mesh it together. You know, I look at people like Frank Ocean and a lot of vintage people, a lot of people that wear like a lot of vintage clothes and I'm inspired by that. I really like the idea of wearing old and recycled clothes because it not only saves the environment, but it looks cool and it fits well. I don't have a lot of specific people that I look at. Usually I just go on like um, Pinterest or I, also, I get a lot of inspiration honestly from people doing like videos on TikTok. I'll just like a random outfit like out of pocket and be like, oh, I love that. I have to recreate it. So like, I don't think I have anything specific. I just kind of like take inspiration from really random stuff. My top artist is for sure Taylor Swift. Um, I love, kind of controversial, but I love country music specifically by female artists. So I like like the Dixie Chicks and I like Carrie Underwood and Miranda Lambert and Casey Musgraves. Frank Ocean. I listen to metal. My favorite music artists are Frank Ocean, Phoebe Bridgers, and Carsey Headrest, which is a band. A lot of like uh, punk rock, post-punk, um, like new wave, I like stuff like that.